22, handball here with FO Manager 22, the Aston Martin career, season number two. First race of the season, the Bahrain Grand Prix, it's race day. I was going to say, before we go racing, like, share, and subscribe, but. Excuse me. If you want the, want, want the channel to grow, you can. It would greatly help out if you did. I'm not going to, I'm getting to the point where me, I feel like I'm saying it too much. I feel like I'm saying it in every video, at least twice, twice a video. So, and it just feels, it just doesn't feel right. So, if you want to, you can. If not, it's fine. If you want to leave a comment, yes, yeah, you can. If not, it's okay. But if you do, click the like button and subscribe. Just make sure you click that bell for notifications. Yeah, it just... I don't know, it just felt, it started to feel like I was most begging people to like and like, share and subscribe to do it. It just, I don't know, it didn't feel right to me. It started feeling, almost like I was, yeah, kind of almost like I was, on the street begging for money or food or something and I have a full-time job so it's race day but <clears throat> I'm sorry if I ramble I want to just kind of get that off my chest a little bit you may not hear me say it at all in some videos now and then there's some videos I might say it once or there are some I might say it twice but it, I'm not going to say it nowhere near like I was but I hope everyone's having a great day hope everyone enjoyed the Spanish Grand Prix it was max just <laughs> He just, his car is way too good. I was kind of surprised that Mercedes was able to get a double podium from Hamilton and Russell. I was really surprised that Aston Martin didn't have Alonso's car I don't know how do I put this. Either set up better or upgraded better. No. I figured for his home race, he would want that. Wanted that. I figured he would have wanted that car to be the best it could possibly be. That way he could possibly compete with Max for the win at his home track. But probably not. Then again, maybe he's looking ahead to Zandvoort, and he might win Zandvoort, Max's home track, since Max won his home track. The way it looks, the way everything's going right now, Verstappen will have the title won by probably race 15 or 16. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me for so long. I do greatly appreciate everyone who comes and watches. All right, let's head down to head down to the track and get the race started.
There's a very overcast night in store for the drivers who are now lined up on the grid. Looking at Fernando Alonso here. Not as close to the front as they might have wished for, but we know the race order can change a lot during those first few corners. There's the second Aston Martin. With a top 10 position on the grid, this race could really go either way for them. And we're just moments away now. Alonso and and this is it. The Bahrain Grand Prix. Lights out, where we go. It's lights out, Come and on, away we go. Come on, Fernando. Get your, oh man, you had him, man, and because of that, you've already fucking fallen a second behind. Mercedes moved up a place. Hamilton gets around Piastri. Lonzo back into Lonzo's gonna go around his fellow Spanish Spaniard. And he, come on. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Alonso going for third. No, not yet. Aston Martin Cuban. with a great play there. They've moved up a place. Piastri is by about eight. Wow, Piastri back up the top six. Piastri on Hamilton. On Hamilton. <laughs> Carlos Sainz is ass now. Wow. Alonso right with Leclerc. We're stamping and Perez. DRS is enabled. Wow. It's literally a DRS train all the way through it. Don't let the two of you falling back. Are the two Williams cars? Schumacher and Albon. 18 cars, all within a second of each other. Can we get some separation? Uh, Piastri trying to. Uh, he almost had him. He almost had Valtteri a second back. Everyone on the soft tires. Eighteen cars separated by less than ten seconds. Wow. Oh, well, Lando Norris is falling back now, so. There's 16 cars separated by seven and a half, eight seconds. Right, uh, no, no, uh, yeah, look at Joe. Did Joe just... I think Joe might have lost the RS.
McLaren gets around Perez. Hamilton is falling over a second behind Piastri now. So now the top six have kind of separated from the rest of the field. It's, probably, it's the top three teams. And then from sixth on back to 16th. It is stuck in a, well, yeah, stuck in a DRS train. Wow. Valtteri can almost get back to DRS, but not quite. Now Valtteri's two seconds back. Now we're getting real separation from him. Piastri's tires is down to where the, everyone else's tire level is at. spun out let's yeah. take a look at the replay now watch this bullshit. here's alonso's car yeah i call serious fucking bullshit Yeah, she's in his pit window. Did somebody spin out there? Wow, Here's the replay. So let's look at this. There's Sergio Perez. That looked like a very nasty spin. Perez only falls to fifth. Alonso does it and he falls to last. Does that sound right to you? Not me either. Pushing hard now, pushing hard. Stop it. Yeah, she pushed hard right now.
ball moved up. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Well, PSG is right there. Who's oh, running wide back there? Seven things. Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. Yeah, she up to second. Back to third. Ferrari, advance the race position. Happened three seconds clear. Oh, come on, Fernando, you had that man. had a car run wide oh and Ferrari just gained a place we've just had a car run wide he asked for signs for Claire fighting hard for second place in the last podium spot I wish Alonzo would get around these guys, man, because he's, he's def definitely faster than them. And Leclerc checks out away from Sainz and Piastri. Now Perez has caught Carlos Sainz and Oscar Piastri. Clear shot. Happy to push. Max went to the hard tires. Wow. Yeah, go. Stroll, Ricardo, Ganzi, all on hard. And Valtteri Bottas is on hard tires.
Red Bull gained a place. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Alonso up to 15th. Did I tell Alonso to come in? No, I did not. Yeah, she falls to 10th. He's 29 seconds back. If he can get around Pierre Gasly and all these guys, they might get held up. Oh, damn it, Piastri, you fucking had it. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. Piastri, a real icon. Can he get George Russell? Not yet. Yeah, street around Hamilton. And he did not get Perez, damn it. One's out of the 14. Alonso up to ninth. He needs one more spot to get into the top ten. Well, Pierre Gasly's not stopped yet, so that will give him top ten, top eight. I mean, that's points for Alonso if he can hang on to it. And he should be able to because everyone is going, their tires are going to go away.
Looks like that was a position gained for Alfa Romeo. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Alonso fighting Bottas for the final point spot. All coming just a, well, a few seconds ahead, almost six seconds ahead now. Alonso got falls back to tenth behind Alpha Romeo and Russell. Just moved up a place. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. Piastri in fifth, right behind Carlos Sainz. Piastri has a great shot to get a podium. As they are running down Sergio Perez, him and Carlos Sainz. All he has to do is stay with him. Oh, they've run wide! Six laps to go. Push a little bit now. Alonzo's got five left remaining. can push wide open now with four to go. Can he get around Valtteri now? Can he get around Valtteri and Russell? And run down Hamilton.
Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Let's take oh a my closer God, look. Are you kidding okay, me? here's the Ferrari. Verstappen and Leclerc have crashed. The leaders take each other out. That's the contact with a couple there. Laps oh, there's to go. chaos on the track. Oh my God. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. Is Leclerc going to hang on for this? Use energy if you need. We have low batteries. It's a race position gained for a Mercedes. Ramon's are going to fight back for a top five. Piastri are going to come up short. Piastri is very close to a podium. Or is he going to come up short? Uh, the car will hang on a minute. So that is checkered flag, but you can keep it. Alonso well, going to bow back for a top five. Just checkered flag. Mate, that's a great drive okay, back for let's fucking move Alonso. Here. Well done, guys. Good job. Take the pickup. Yeah, that's true. You should have had a party in it. The player takes the seven out. The seven since 19. Wow. The seven since 19. The player took him out. Wow. Fourth and fifth, hell yeah. What an incredible outcome for Aston Martin's drive. driver. Especially great drive for Alonzo. Jesus Christ, he would have had to party him. He might have won this race. Today, Aston Martin demonstrated that they can go very far indeed. I wouldn't be surprised if the team's performance today won them a lot of new fans. At the end of the weekend, it's second place in the constructor standings for them. Wow. The teams now look ahead to the next round, where they'll do it out in the sand dunes of Saudi Arabia. Oh man, Ferrari's off. Nine points. Ferrari has 18. Ferrari has the maximum amount of points they can get. McLaren leads, but just. Ferrari has a nine point lead on Aston Martin. Red Bull has six points, Mercedes has five. And Alfa Romeo only has one. 
PSG with a development point. Alonso with a development point. Hell yeah. A million dollars even. Both of them getting in the top six. We didn't get the best slab, but that's fine. These three are the ones that matter because it costs me money if I don't complete them. Player starts second. Wanted to win the race, but he kind of, eh, it was kind of a dirty win. He took stepping out of the race. And went on to hold on to win it. So. We are second in the constructor standings. Nine points behind Ferrari. Three clear, three ahead of Red Bull. Speed down for or low speed. Let's go medium speed. With almost pretty much every track has medium speed corners, so and let's improve Piastri's cornering ability. Uh, improved him to 77 overall. Armando. Yeah, improve his cornering ability. Nineteen hundred and seventy, twenty-eight thirty-three, Lonzo. Only have two under four. Can I get a third one before the race? Yes. Yes, we can. Uh, and we'll get two front wings. We don't have, let's see, our upgrade doesn't hit until MR, right? So, that means the next two races we don't have an upgrade coming, but we do for MR. Okay. Clear skies for Saudi. Car analysis. We are exactly the same as we were. The only thing worries me this race, our top speed. We're faster than Mercedes though, so that's a good thing. Red Bull is still just a little bit better than us in medium high speed cornering. 
we're that close to taking over we're that close from becoming the second best team wow Alpine's a little bit faster than us but not much Williams is a little bit faster Alpha Tories a little bit not a whole lot we're faster than Alpha Romeo Ferrari and Red Bull are the fastest Now Ferrari has the best car. Ferrari is the best team overall. The number one in everything except for low speed cornering, which we have that, and top speed. They're third in that. 375 over 3, what is Red Bull? 07. Huh? 375 over 07, so it's extremely close. Red Bull third in the DRS top speed. 391.28. 397 So 1 Seven. The only things we're not better than is Red Bull and Ferrari. Top seven. Four more races of both drivers qualifying and finishing inside the top ten, and it will be a five and a half million dollar payday. But along with everything else, it could be almost seven million dollars. So we need to do it. At at Jada, Melbourne, Emma, and Miami. And we will have a huge payday. Fifteen million dollars to upgrade the CFD simulator. Thirty one days. Shit, I think I fucked up.
I think I fucked up. I thought I had more time. It resets as a fucking emblem. Damn it. I think you, I think you lose all those points. I think you lose all the research and training points if you don't use them. When is the first? Oh. It's after Jenna, the first regulation vote. And then after Australia, we have the results of it. And that will do it from for the Bahrain Grand Prix. When I come back, we will be practicing and qualifying for Jenna. For the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I damn sure did. To see Alonzo come home with the top five after spinning out, falling all the way to the back, and fighting and earning his way to a top five. Piastri almost had a podium. If Alonzo had been in that position, Alonzo would have got a podium. There's a chance he could have won this race had he not spun out because he could have got within five seconds of Leclerc and he would have won the race. Leclerc might have crossed the line first but a five second penalty Alonso wins the race because the color signs got within eight seconds I think and Alonso had better time much more better, It'd be, sorry, much better tires remaining at that point, so. But that will do it for Bahrain. We're getting ready to head to Jeddah for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. I'm sorry, I couldn't get us a podium or win the first race. I tried. If Alonzo hadn't spun out, we, we would have definitely had a podium. I can't believe Leclerc took Max out and then decides to just stay out on the track and win the race. But hope everyone has a great day. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. I enjoyed the hell out of the race because I knew, I thought for sure we'd get a party, man. I'm so sorry. I knew it was going to be a good one, though. I knew it was going to be a good one. This, this finish of this race is always really good because the tire wear. Everyone does two stops. And if they do it wrong, their tires are garbage at the end of the race. And if you do it right, you'll have, ex you'll have better tire wear and you can push hard as hell. Again... Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you very soon. We're starting to be in Grand Prix. Have a great day, everyone.